Hey guys, this is Asasuke, and welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. So, today I have received a request from a certain somebody in the comments that we once more attempt to take down the Great Swine God. I'm a little bit more confident this time, to say the least. So you, 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 and you. Wait, one of you did not you. There we go. Okay, so we have two really tough frontliners. I say tough because he's going to be getting the um, thing that makes him more tough. <laughs> Herp derp. Where is it? The collar. Hello? Collar? Video games? Am I crazy? I've lost it, guys. I can't. There it is. I'm not crazy. Okay. So, he has 25% protection, so if he chooses to do that stupid obliterate thing on two people over and over and over, he's going to run into some problems. And there we go, a little bit more accuracy for you, and more damage. Now, this is what I'm going to do. First you get accuracy, then you get this. So he has more debuff chance, more stun chance, more crit. And he has higher accuracy, so hopefully he won't miss as much. He also doesn't have the lazy eye this time. So if we miss a bunch of the debuffs, I'm going to get pretty salty, guys. I'm going to be honest with you. And the Arbalist, um... See, one of these people, I want to have the map, just in case we run into some bad stuff. At the same point in time, I think it would almost be beneficial to have the speed on her. Because, I don't know, maybe I can do one turn where I just debuff his dodge. I don't know. Fifteen accuracy and three, but it gets her a dodge. I don't really feel like getting her a dodge. Mm, nah, she has a lot of HP, though. She has almost more HP than everybody. How much does she get if I do this? 72? Holy moly. Um, I'm thinking just accuracy, honestly. I really want the scouting map. But I think it's gonna do us good just to be able to hit. So this is a miniature marking composition. I probably won't need the Hound's Harry very much. Or I'm gonna... I might need it till the boss fight. Okay. And then I'm not going to really need... So what What I'm thinking is when Wilbur marks somebody, if he does the double mark, um, and we if we, if we have at least 80% negative damage on him, where is it? Yeah, 80% negative damage, he's not going to hit too hard because he has 25% protection here. And I can... Um, go ahead and give ourselves a big protection buff. So I think I'm going to do that if he's marking the front too. If you choose to hit the third guy, well you're just going to heal yourself through it. And I'm probably not going to need the bandage very often if I had to guess. And I probably won't need suppressing fire, maybe blind fire. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll, we'll think about it. Clear stun. You know what? I had somebody else in the comments uh, mention that that might be a good idea as well to have on the clear stun thing. And now that I'm looking through the possible skills that she could have in the fight, it doesn't look like any of the other ones would actually be good enough. Wait, why did I do that? That like did nothing, pretty much. Literally leveling that did nothing. Okay. Well, we did it anyway. So I do think I'm going to try that on her. We are going to be taking off Suppressing Fire and putting on Rallying Flare for now. Mostly for the swine fight, but you know, it might come in handy at other times too. I had another comment that was like, um, maybe we should just try to one-shot Wilbur. Because if we could one-shot Wilbur, you know, there would be a lot less problem. The only problem with that is I'm pretty sure the Swine King does a big hit on all four members if you hit Wilbur. And the problem with that is the marking counts as a hit, and then the one damage, if it doesn't crit, counts as a hit. So that would mean I might have to take up to three blows on all four members for over 20 damage, and that would kill every single person. So I'm a little too scared to do that, to be honest. Intimidate looks like it got changed. 20% damage. Holy shit! Why is that not leveled? Dude. Bruh. Bruh, dude. Okay. Okay. 
How could I not see that skill? That could be so freaking useful. So... I kind of want to keep on the withstand, because I, I really do think he's going to do that dumb thing where he marks the front two and just burns them down until you die, which he's done every single fight. So I think I'm going to take off Solemnity and put on Intimidate. And since the, he takes up three squares, it won't hit Wilbur. I don't really need Hugh, but I will need it till we get to the boss, so... Yeah, I think this is fine. We're all geared up. Let's provision ourselves and get on the road. We're also going to save the doggy treat till then, as well. Uh, I'm bringing the full precautionary amount of stuff, just in case, you know, whatever the hell happens. Now, I'm nervous, but I feel like we're ready this time. Let me drink some coffee. And stupid. Moreover, it required prodigious amounts of meat to sustain itself. But this was only a trifling concern. After all, I had a village full of it. You monster! How many times have we heard this? Too many is the answer to that. Don't pull numbers, damn it. It's too many. He dies tonight! Tonight we died in hell! <laughs> and all that, uh, shenaganery. So, he's up there. Let's get a move on. Got a little bit of stress. We do probably... That's not leveled, I don't think. I don't even think it's worth it at this point to uh, bring it down. Our, our one camp before we do it, we'll get rid of some of the stress. Now, we are going to move according to our scouting. And our scouting is telling us we might have an easier day than we thought to get to the boss. Alright. This isn't the worst fight. Oh, the vomit target, though. They know. They know our weakness. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and mark somebody. Just mark somebody. Let's go ahead and mark him. Alright, good resist. <laughs> Why do I say it like that? Resist. Good to resist. Let's hound Harry. It'll go ahead and get rid of him and apply some bleeds. This guy's gonna get off another vomit. It was very unlikely we'd kill him, so I'll take that damage on the big guy. Ball and chain the stun. Oh my god. What a crit by that guy. I'm a, I'm a little upset about that. Go ahead and mark this guy as well. We'll eat some food to recover that. I don't want to waste a turn. I just want to get out of this fight. So this doesn't keep happening. Luckily it's only 8 instead of 10 because he has a little bit of stress relief. But we do need to take care of that as soon as possible. Good crit. Wow. Very nice. Alright, so they are smart enough to target the right person, which sucks. So... If we do have to camp before we actually get to the swine fight, we will have the buffs into the swine fight either way. So, we gotta keep in mind that our bags aren't against the wall, even though it's a little ugly right now. And I'm pretty sure he's gonna be here. There's a small, smallest chance he could be there, but I'm like 99% sure he's there. And hopefully one of these ways doesn't have a fight. Which way? Neither have a fight, wow. That way, oh, wow! I'm happy we got that scout. So, cause I I was wrong. It was down here instead of there. So my 99%. Oh yes, free stress relief, cause he has a butt ton of uh, chance to get rid of that. Okay, salvage them burn torch. I mean, every little bit helps. Not going to complain. Now we just have to pretty much hope for a no night fight. Is um the dream here? I'm gonna go ahead and eat a big big thing of food. He's back to his original amount. Okay, so restring crossbow for certain. I'm gonna say dark strength on her as well. It's a good idea. Then we're just gonna reduce the stress a little bit. What else do we have? Do we really have nothing else? That is a little discouraging, to be honest with you. I wish we had some more buffs. I'm gonna do that. We don't really need it, but I'm gonna say if we do get a surprise or if we do get a surprise fight here, we might surprise them. 
Oh well. A blazing star is born. Better safe than sorry, I'm gonna say. A little bit of food, a little bit of money. Let's let's get our game face on. Alright, so let's make sure. We won't need Hugh in this fight. Like 99% sure. I'm not gonna bring down our protection. I will equip Solemnity. Let's go ahead and take a look at the skills. I won't need Town Terry this fight. I'll put on Blackjack. I don't think I'll use it. Or I'm pretty sure it won't be used. Maybe we should put on Guard Dog. It'll give us a butt ton of dodge. We have a lot of protection. I'm gonna try it. Your skills are fine. Well, we won't really need Abyssal Artillery, but there's nothing else that would really be good enough for it. And your skills are already sorted out. We won't need Bola. Is there anything else we could put on? Blindfire is a random target. I'm not taking that chance. It's a 75% chance it'd work out. But on that one, one time it doesn't. That could spell disaster. Okay, so... Here goes nothing. We meet again, the swine god. So Wilbur went ahead and stunned Joe. It's almost a guaranteed stun, I'm pretty sure. And he marked two people. So the hope is that... Let's just go ahead and start damaging him. I was going to say we should mark him, but I think we should leave the marking to somebody else. Go ahead and hit that, hit those debuffs. Start just unleashing every debuff we have. Alright, we'll go ahead and mark him. So next turn we'll deal even more damage. Okay, here's the obliterate masses. Yes, it hurts a shit ton. We are aware of that. Bit of squill in the back line, that's fine. We're just trying to bring his damage down. As long as we get his damage down, it's fine. Yep, it looks like he's still doing his mark everybody in the front row tactic. Less damage for you, that's two in a row. And then we are going to withstand him. That's pretty good damage, actually. He resisted it, but that's... I think it's okay. He does have a lot of HP, but it's slowly being brought down. That's still a lot of damage. Ugh. They both have self heals though. The bit of squill scares me. Come on, resist! Well, we got one of the two that we needed, I suppose. Alright, so they marked him. Hmm. Getting a little scared, to be honest with you. He is bleeding a lot. We could heal. I don't know if he's going to go in death's door. 61 damage is amazing. Alright, another crit. He has no damage now, in theory. Yes! Okay, now we need to heal up, but do it cautiously. Alright, bit of squeal on our debuffer. We have another person to debuff you. I don't even know if he can hit back there. He might be able to, though. Alright, so you are at 130%. So this turn you won't deal any damage. Let's go ahead and get you... I don't want anybody to die. Let's go ahead and mark you again. We just gotta watch that little debuff. Four damage and you have a negative... Oh, I guess it ticked over. Maybe, I don't know. Alright, he got his first dodge. That sucks. But he bit a squill somebody who's... They're important, but they're not as important as the two debuffers that we have. Alright. Let's go ahead and try this on for size. Still pretty good damage. Sadly, he resisted the debuff again. Another 61 crit. Oh, hold your breath. We died to Wilbur last time. Smart. Hashtag safe plays, guys. That's what I say when I play MOBAs with my buddy. Hashtag safe plays. It means don't overextend and be stupid, and that's what we're trying not to do here. Sadly, he... Oh, nice, we got the resist. That's finally what I was looking for, is that resist. Because I want to get a heal on Joe before he gets the chance to infinitely stun us. Alright, that's another debuff. There we go. There's the 12. Now we can focus all into DPS. 18. 
three bleed, so he has a little bit of HP left. That's fine, though. That's a lot of damage, still, but let's play it cool. Double stun. It's still looking scary, guys. I'm still... Because he just stunned both of our debuffers. We have to kill him. Alright, the swine god is down, but let's freaking deal with this annoying-ass Wilbur. Alright, we're all unmarked. We're all on everything. I don't think he can deal that much damage. But should I even... I'm not even going to take the chance. I'm just going to lower his damage down to nothing. Just in case for some reason he can deal a million damage. Actually, I haven't been to this bit of the fight in a while, so I couldn't remember. Yeah, he deals big AoE, but we resisted the stun on two people. Yes! Oh, please! Please let it happen. Oh, come on. <laughs> Don't fuck with me, Wilbur. Come on! Yes, resist. Oh god, please resist. Death waits for the yes! Uh, guys, I, I think it's gonna happen. It happened! I am God! <laughs> oh my lord. Everybody. Celebration food. Celebrate. Celebrate good times, yeah. And we'll stack it together. We didn't even use the doggy tree. I'm not even mad. Normally it'd be like, wow, wh we're so bad. LOL. I'm not even mad. There's part of me that wants to adventure on to get more money. We're looking decent on HP. We'll, uh, we'll do one more fight. We just gotta remember we don't have a scout or anything, so. I'm just gonna lower his dodge. Maybe we can just, like, kill him really fast. Oh, man. Just. You know, it might sound bad, but, like, even if we were to die right now, I like everybody fully wiped, and we probably wouldn't even get credit for the quest, I would still feel pretty good about it. I know I didn't need to really attack him. Uh, Helen Terry would do great here, but we don't even have it on, but I'm gonna finish this guy off before he gets his turn. It finally happened. We didn't have a lazy eye holding us back from the constant debuffing. He still dealt a lot of damage, though. Go ahead and finish this guy off. Now we'll just focus on the, uh, front line guy here. I think we'll just call it a, a day after this. I mean, I'm not too worried. Like, I think this party is strong enough to pretty much obliterate anything we fight other than bosses. And then, I mean, they did really well against a boss, too, but... I just, uh... I'm just happy. I'm just happy it's finally over. The The reign of the swine god has come to an end. At our hands, too. That's the best part. The game didn't glitch. We actually were able to beat him. And it feels so good. I should have debuffed him. Good crit, though. Alright, we'll leave. Let's just go to the next room and let's leave. A trifling victory. But a victory All right. nonetheless. More victory food too. Everybody gets to eat some. I'm still not oh. Well we'll have eight anyways, but I'm still not gonna be stupid in case something bad were to happen. I don't even need to walk here. What am I doing? Let's leave. The swine god is defeated, my friends. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we made 10.4k. That's fine. That's not even what the mission was about. The mission was about revenge. We had... Wow, we got two new level 6s. And two people that are one thing away. And we got lethargy. I will get rid of that. I don't like it. Not at all. I can still see their angry faces as they stormed the manor. But I was dead before they found me. Swine God, baby. And the letter was on its way. The frickin' swine god. And we got another level six. So in actuality that we got two objectives done there. Now we have a level six occultist. We need to do a Vestal Plague Doctor, Man at Arms, Leopard Jester, Houndmaster, Highwayman, Hellion, Grave Robber, Crusader, Bounty Hunter. It seems like a lot more than it actually is because we have three people that are away from it, so that's three more check marks because they're all different classes. We have two others that are at level five. 
three at four. Wow, we have almost every class at level five, except for the Hellion and the um, Mad Arms. So as much as I love this comp, I think I'm gonna sub out Sean for the Silver Ranger and hope that we can get them around to the same level at the same time. She's gonna be like one and a half behind, but if I only do long missions, they should raise about the same time. And we don't need this other Arbalist thing, we already have one, but I'm gonna sort and make sure we already have one. We do, so. <sighs> I feel I feel a little bit better about life now. So we said we need to take care of Lethargion stew. He came back with no stress. He left with like 30. He came back with none. Is there anything I want to get rid of? Okay. Well, that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. If you guys liked it, hit that like button to finally show your support for the swine god dying. Oh, that feels good to say that. Oh, my God. And Wilbur. Don't forget that little F word. Look at this. Wilbur, 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 Wilbur. Screw Wilbur, dude. Never again. But we finally were able to do it, and it feels amazing. But yeah, um, show your support for that with a like. Um, leave a comment. Let me guys know whatever you need to know. Um, if you guys would, just fill the comment section with LOL Swine God Wrecked. Not necessarily that, but something along those lines to... Just finally desecrate his dead body and then to laugh at him is mostly what I'm happy about. But yeah, subscribe to the channel for more daily content, my friends. Spread the word to anybody who may be interested. And I hope you guys have the most amazing day in the whole damn swine godless world. See you guys.